Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the BookTube backstage tag. So this tag's all about how we go about making videos. Uh, there are eight questions. Uh, it was created by Rainier Books, and I was tagged by Jay Shea. I was actually super excited to be tagged by him because I really enjoyed his video as well. And so, uh, and I was thinking as I was going along, this is a really interesting tag. So uh, do check out those videos. I'll link to those below, and we'll jump straight on in. So question one: What camera do you use for your videos? I'm currently using a Canon G7X, a Canon PowerShot G7X. I did previously move up to the Mark II, but basically I think I broke two Mark IIs. They're way less rugged. Uh, I, I did switch to a G9X briefly, but that's more of, of a photography camera. Uh, it doesn't have a flip up screen and also it just goes out of focus all the time. So uh, I moved back to the G7X Mark I. Basically the flip up screen on this is a lot more durable. On the Mark II it comes out on these like hinges and it just breaks a lot. So I don't want to have to keep buying cameras. So we're sticking with the G7X Mark I. Question number two, speaking about filming and being your own director, do you have a favourite film director? Not really, because I don't really do films. Um, I mean, I do quite like Quentin Tarantino. Um, Rob Reiner is surprisingly uh, like up there because I like a lot of the films that he made because I think he did both Spinal Tap and The Princess Bride, as well as like a bunch of others that I've seen and thought were quite good. But like those two are two of my favourites. Yeah, those those are who spring to mind. Uh, the Coen Brothers. I've enjoyed quite a few of their films recently. Although, yeah. All right, question number three. What microphone do you use and what program do you use to edit your videos? Well, at the moment, I'm just using the onboard mic for the G7X. I do actually have a lapel mic, which I can potentially use, but it just makes it a lot more of a hassle to then synchronize the audio to the video. And I think the audio is good enough on the inbuilt camera, especially because I, I talk loudly and kind of project my voice and stuff. Um, but if I need to, like the, the lapel mic is kind of there for the next time we film outside to avoid like wind noise and stuff. I also have um, a snowball mic, a blue snowball mic, uh, which I use for recording audio. To edit audio, I use Audacity. Uh, I used to use Windows Movie Maker for most of my editing, and I still do very occasionally use it for like really simple stuff. But it started glitching on my PC, and anyway, I wanted to be able to do more stuff, so I bought a Mac. And that came with uh, Final Cut Pro. And so that's now what I use to edit my videos and to do all the green screening and stuff. Question number four, do you remember the first record that you bought or received as a gift? Uh, and I think this can refer to albums. Like I think it's using record in the term, uh, like in the concept of album as opposed to a vinyl record. So the first album I bought or received as a gift was probably Aquarium by Aqua. Uh, I used to really like Aqua. I used to have their tour di uh, DVD and stuff. Well, it was on VHS at the time. A very pink car just went past the window. That was distracting. Um, but the first vinyl that I bought or received was probably one by The Shadow. Question number five, how do you prepare your videos? Talking points, a detailed script, or just talking? It depends. So for my tag, I have the questions noted down in a Word document that's on my PC screen over there. Uh, for reviews, I just tab out books as I read them and then I just go back through and check out all the tabs and find whatever it was that I tabbed out. Uh, for the stuff I've been doing with, with Susie for Lord Literature and Madam Media, link to that channel below. That's interesting because there's like a lot of different stuff there. So it, the, the videos, especially our main videos, usually start, like I usually start by writing a script for a little skit. And then, you know, we'll prepare talking points or whatever and do that. And then quite often there's a song at the end. So for our most recent one, I, I had to write lyrics for Jurassic Park Life. So that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, that's about it otherwise. Like tags, as I say, I prepare them. Shout outs, I prepare them. Uh, vlogs, I just get up in front of the camera. Yeah. Question number six. TV shows have become the thing of our time. Game of Thrones, Stranger Things, Netflix, HBO, and Amazon. What is slash are your favorite TV shows ever? Name a maximum of three. Okay. So, one of them is probably Red Dwarf. It's a cool classic sci-fi show. Just one that I was kind of raised on. Um, and yeah, that's on Netflix as well. The first eight seasons are on Netflix. So I, that's like what I have on in bed before I go to sleep. So there's that. I think another one will probably be that Mitchell and Webb look again because that's been one of the ones that I watch before I go to sleep. And I'm currently watching that with Susie as well. It's a sketch show with David Mitchell and Robert Webb. 
And the third one is probably Ideal, which is uh, starring Johnny Vegas as like a weed dealer in Manchester. And it's just very surreal at times. Like he's got, uh, like it follows all the people who come around to his flat, basically. So you've got all of the customers who are like a bunch of weirdos. Then you got like the gangsters. So there's a guy called Cartoon Head who just has like a cartoon mask as a head. It's got glued onto him as like some gangland vengeance. It's just, it's very funny, but it's also, it's like stoner humor. Um, but with like surrealism thrown in as well and it's just oh it's fantastic and the guy who wrote it called Graham Duff he's also in it as well and he's playing this like uh, it's called Brian and he's just as, as gay as they come and uh, so he'll come in and be like hi hi uh, and it's like bald with like a um, uh, what do you call it a, um, a goatee bald with a goatee and he'll come up with like a different partner each time and towards the end like towards some of the later seasons one of his partners was played by uh, what's his name the uh, Sean, I think it's called Sean, I don't know. Anyway, and he came in and he, he was like transgender, so he was dressed as a woman and it was brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are my three. Question number seven, what kind of booktube videos do you prefer to watch and why? Reviews, wrap-ups, vlogs, buckles, tag videos, or? Right, this really depends on the channel uh, and the kind of videos they do. So, for example, um, people, because you know people have like mini series and stuff that they do on their channels as well so like Edward Lorne I really like his Thursday Theorist videos about Stephen King in general I quite like vlogs I like reviews but for some reason I only watch reviews of books that I've read um, but I do like watching reviews uh, shout outs I always enjoy uh, wrap ups are always fun as well I don't know man just a bit of everything but I do like it when people are a little bit creative as well question number eight watching TV was probably a part of all of our childhoods these years it has become less popular. What kind of media user are you? Okay, well I don't watch like live TV. Uh, in the UK there's a law where if you watch live TV um, you need to have a TV license and the money from the TV license goes to the BBC. So if I wanted to watch ITV or Channel 5 on live TV, I would have to pay a TV license to the BBC even though I wasn't watching BBC programs. Uh, you also can't use like BBC iPlayer and stuff like that as well without a TV license. So I just don't consume stuff from the BBC. Although weirdly I do use BBC News. Um, but yeah, everything that I watch, I watch a lot of Netflix, I watch a lot of YouTube, I listen to a lot of Spotify, and that's about it. Oh, and vinyls, and that's all I need to keep me going. All right, and then we get to tagging people. So eight prop, so eight props you can tag up to eight people. So off the top of my bonds, I'm gonna tag. Uh, who do I want to know more about how they film? I'd love to know more from Camsey Wolf of Wolfshot Publishing. Uh, I'd love to know uh, from both Too Tight Latrec and um, Booktube Goddess. Both of them, I would love to see how they prep. Uh, A.G. McDonald, I think, would be an interesting one, although I don't know if he does tag videos. Basically, everyone who does, like, cool stuff with their videos, I'm on all of those. Uh, Will from Ball Book Geek, he'd be an interesting one. Missy from Binge Reader, because I've been watching her channel for years. Cats and Camera, she'd be great, although she tagged me. No, she didn't. We are all good. And one more, we're going to tag... I, I, I can't think of who to tag. I need one more person. Um... And let's go with Jason from Jason's Weird Reads. So there we have it, that's what I made of the booktube backstage tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye